Hello, this is Laura from Finale Inventory, and today we're going to go over the analytics dashboard that Finale offers. So to access these dashboards, we're going to want to start in your main menu in Finale, and then navigate up to the top bar and click on the analytics dropdown. These are the four dashboards we're going to go over today. So the first dashboard is our analytics overview dashboard. Something to note here is that we can filter by date range and then also group by. So as you can see at the top here, there's all these overview metrics for sales, um, margins, purchases, and then we can go here and edit to let's say last 90 days and then group by the week. And here we can see how the metrics here have changed and how the entire dashboard switches with these filters. So here we have some sales information. Here we have a chart that shows sales by channel, which is uh, important to know. And then under here we have information about purchases. So that has been the overview dashboard. Now we will move on to the sales dashboard. The sales dashboard has um, various features. So we have the filters again, we can also filter by source and origin, um, and then also with these additional filters shown here as well. We also have this map, map feature shown on the right. So we can see what, sa what state in the United States um, sales came from. And then we can also click on world to see which country. So if you have any selling channels or any sales in Canada or Mexico, you'd be able to see that here. So on the right, we have the sales metrics and then financial data, like gross sales, COGS, income. And again, the, these can be filtered, let's say for the last month, and we can again, see how this affects and then group by the week to see how each week has gone. Next, we're gonna to go to our product sales dashboard. So again, we have the filters at the top. We have category and origin this time. And then here we have um, this information about which products are being sold the most. On the right, we have a chart that shows which products are spiking in demand. So right here, the can of Coke has has greatly increased in demand over the last 30 days. And we can see top sellers, and we can even switch if we wanna do only top five, kind of narrow down a little bit more, we can also see that for gross sales, margin, um, everything that the product sales dashboard shows. So now we'll be moving on to the product stock dashboard. So this talks about stock um, and just kind of metrics related to that. One of the important metrics is velocity. So let's see how fast um, you're selling your products. And then quantity on hand. And then we also wanna mention these metrics at top again. You can do location if you have various warehouses and categories if you have various product categories. Additionally, if you would like to drill down further into your data and find other metrics that weren't um, found in these dashboards, you can always go to the reports dropdown and generate a report to Excel and then manipulate the data on there to try to find what you're looking for. And if you have any questions about either the analytics dashboards or finding more metrics or information, please do not hesitate to contact us. You can always email us. Our email is service at finaleinventory.com. Thank you.